It was a interesting time in the morning. It started kind of uh, relaxed and then the energy just shifted. It had a, a really heavy uh, cloud kind of come down over uh, the people as they marched and it went from singing the national anthem in a jolly mood to all of a sudden, you know, chants of hanging uh, members of Congress and the vice president and people climbing the walls of the terrace and slamming against the windows and eventually uh, breaking in and uh, uh, penetrating the entire uh, Senate halls. Um, and uh, it was a, a mind-blowing moment, still processing it. I was lucky enough to get close enough with my camera to uh, really witness one of the more horrific moments in recent American history, in my opinion. As the crowd got to the end of Constitution Avenue and got to the Capitol building, there was kind of a Un on my part, I wasn't clear of what exactly the march was leading to. I thought it was just getting to the Capitol building and doing a kind of, you know, chant or rally again. Maybe there would be another stage. But when people started scaling the walls, that's when I realized, like, this is a completely different, uh, you know, event than we've ever seen. And uh, I, was, I was shocked. I think a lot of people around me were also shocked, but caught up in the the energy in the moment and started following suit with everyone else and yeah that entire day it was kind of like a fever dream to me because uh, every every moment I was shocked was then surpassed by the next moment and the next moment until uh, basically everything that was on the news with uh, violence and police officers uh, being assaulted and you know flags being taken off their flagpoles and being used as weapons. It was, uh, you know, a stunning day. We are definitely in for a, a very long healing process in our country and whether or not we'll have repeats of that, that's, that's the part I feel a lot more uncertain about. You can see the pictures and footage I took on my Instagram account and in my story highlights on the profile. Uh, that's at James Goes Places.